All right, guys. In the last video, I told you I almost died in the Corvette. Uh, I'm gonna show you what broke on this thing. Like I said, I'm not gonna like tell you the brand of these lowering bolts, uh, but I will definitely tell you lowering bolts suck. Do not buy them. Instead of spending a hundred bucks, just save up another 900 by coil levers, which is what I should have done. But let me explain to you what happened. All right. So you can see right here, let me get a little better angle on that. You can see where it collapsed. So the threads on the lowering bolt, these are this is the factory lowering bolt now. Um, so I've done that to, so I could get, you know, get off the road and everything. Um, the, the bolts, the lowering bolts I, were, I was using, the nut that holds it up together, holds it all together, the threads just pulled out of that nut. And the control arm, the wheel and everything collapsed all the way into the wheel wheel. This smashed the ground and kept the car from completely sagging out. Now, at the time, it wasn't a big deal because I was just cruising down the road getting ready to get on the highway. But that is pretty scary because I've been to a drift event with this car. I've been extremely fast in this car. So if that would have happened at a, you know, some speeds, could have been bad. I was probably going about 50 miles an hour when it happened. <laughs> but this is the lowering bolt. So, not going to drop a brand, but it is a well-known high-end suspension component brand. If you can look inside the bolt, let me see if I can get a good angle on it. Like the threads are just kind of stripped or pulled out of there. So, like I said, I said stripped, but they're just they're just not there anymore. <laughs> um, but it was kind of crazy because, like I said, I uh, when it happened, I pulled off to the shoulder, called Donald to come save me, and while he was on his way with the jack. I walked down the road, found the nut and the parts to put it back together. Um, Cause like I said, I wasn't going really fast. Probably wasn't going 50. I was probably going like 30 or something. So yeah, so it collapsed, immediately stopped in the shoulder and uh, just walked, you know, a few yards down the road and found the parts. Jacked the car up, put it back together. And why we're loading the tools in his car to leave, it did it again with the car just sitting there on the ground, just sitting there on the suspension. And it collapsed again so luckily when i was walking i also found another um i don't think i have it but i found another nut that was just sitting on the side of the road and i'm telling you i'm, I'm pretty lucky dude when it comes to dumb things not big things just dumb things i found a nut that was the correct thread for this bolt and that's what got got us off of uh the shoulder and everything so but yeah Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't recommend lowering bolts. Just save, you know, 900 more dollars and uh, buy coil overs because that could have been really bad. Um, so yeah, lowering bolts suck. Don't buy them. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I have a quick, I'm pretty sure I have a little video clip of where I recorded with my phone where the spring was on the ground holding the car up. Um, so I'll throw that in here real quick. I'm not sure, but I don't think that's supposed to be on the ground like that. But yeah, I, I'm definitely, I'm not a fan of lowering bolts after that. Um, so I, I don't recommend them. Like I said, I would just save the money, save another 900 bucks, buy coilovers. Um, super sketchy. Like I said, that could have been really bad if, if you were, like I said, uh, you know, driving on a, a curvy road, really getting after it or, you know, going fast or anything like that. So thankfully I was going pretty slow. It didn't damage the car. Now I've already put the factory lowering bolts back on both sides in the rear i just kind of cut the little the rubber bushing on the top and the bottom just so kind of have somewhat of a right height decent right height i'm gonna drive it off these things real quick and uh we'll see what it looks like sitting on the ground plus i'm gonna get coil levers really soon but i do believe this will be the first time you guys get to hear the car after getting the can like i put a cam in this thing like two years ago it feels like um and haven't even made a youtube video with it
outside is kind of a monster truck. But like I'm saying, it's kind of sitting in my yard. It's really all kind of screwed up. But even on this side, it's not bad because uh, having these cars low uh, takes all the fun out of it. You can't drive it anywhere. Scrubs going into anything. So. And my car is not even low. I, I don't understand how these guys do it. The ones where it's like slammed all the time. <laughs> but all right, guys. The next video for the Corvette. Um, like I said, I got that handbrake. And I'm going to go pick up a new radio and everything. Or just a good head unit. Get all that stuff done. I don't know if I'll take it with the lowering bolts or not. But like I said, I got to get... Um, I don't know. I gotta get that handbrake in there because uh, I don't know. Handbrakes just make me feel safe when I'm at drift events. <laughs> and plus, it's a little bit easier to initiate that way. That way, um, I'm not abusing that transaxle on my clutch and everything. So, not looking forward to replacing that stuff in this car or in the Corvette in general. All right, guys, that's enough of me. Whatever. But. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you that. I started out to make this video, but that was kind of sketchy. So if you have lowering bolts, I would be thinking about getting rid of them. If anyone's had that issue before, like I said, comment in the video, make a comment. I would love to know that I'm not the only one. So, <laughs> but all right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.